could just skip the whole video and just go into this part and then you'd be set for your night out because I don't know it's just hey everyone welcome to my channel so for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to take your everyday like office work you know school your day-to-day -day basic makeup and transform it into night makeup so this is like Maybe you've had a long day at the office and you're planning on going for drinks or a date or something after work or you're just getting home from school and you don't want to like start completely from fresh. You just want to take what your everyday makeup is and just elevate it. Take a little step further. Just, you know, make a little sparkly. Something that's good for a night out. Okay, so this is generally what I do for my um, everyday makeup if I'm going to work or school. This is what I wear. So I have concealer, foundation, I filled in my brows and then I did mascara and that's all I did. I used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage, the, what is this, Maybelline? L'Oreal? L'Oreal. L'Oreal Luminous False Fiber Lashes and just the Anastasia Brows. That's all I generally do for the day to day. So I would recommend getting something like this this is the Hourglass, it's called Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. This is the unlocked one. They have like a bunch of different ones. Um, I think they're all limited edition though, but they generally have one out. Um, I also have the Becca Chrissy Teigen one. So these are just face palettes because I don't really want to have to bring around like separate highlights or a separate bronzer or a separate blush to add some color back into my face. So this is a Smashbox one. So anyway, I would recommend getting a palette like this because then like, I don't know what size purse you carry, but this would definitely fit in my purse. So this part I normally skip because I have very dry skin and I never really get oily. But if you have oily skin, you're not going to want to show up to dinner looking like an oily mess. So you're going to take um, either a looser pressed powder, whatever you like. This one, obviously, you're not going to want to travel with this. You're not going to want to bring this on the go with you, it's not very convenient, but it comes with an, in a mini one that you could get. Um, this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder um, or a press powder would be even better because then you don't have to deal with the mess. So anyway, if you were oily, I'm not actually gonna put it on, but I would just dab it around the area so that you get oily and it's just gonna get rid of any shine that you have and just absorb up any oil. Okay, so that's for those with oily skin. I find that if I'm if I've worn my everyday makeup, even if I did put on blush, bronzer, and highlight this morning, most of it is probably off by the time you're going for dinner or drinks or whatever, because it's probably like a long time later. So then I'm just gonna do a little bronzer. Blush I find fades the fastest. But it also has the biggest impact. I used to always get blush. So I was like, um, I have a red face. I don't need to wear blush. But now that I started wearing it, like it just brings so much life and color into your face. And it actually, even though obviously you're applying more makeup, it makes your makeup look a lot more natural because most people naturally have a flush in their face. So the great thing about this brush, I'm gonna use it to get rid of the oil with the powder. And then I'm gonna use it for my highlight. So this, in this palette, it has a really nice highlight right here. It's very blinding and it's great for a night out. And because this is pretty loose brush, it's not gonna look like, sometimes when you put on highlight with a really small brush, it just looks like, like just a chunk of highlight. But with this, because it's not very dense, you can really just blend it all in here. And that's all we're gonna do for the face. I don't really, really that was just one palette and two brushes. And I feel like it makes pretty dramatic effect. And I also, I think highlight is really key when you're going out to, like if you're going out to a club and you're, there's gonna be bright lights and stuff, you're gonna wanna shine. Okay, so the next part that I'm gonna do is my eyes. Um, so I have a few recommendations for me. 
you're going to go back into that same brush that you did your highlight and powder with, and you're going to go into a dark, I usually use like an espresso color, like a dark chocolate brown. And so this one is just this little mini palette. If you have like a single, even if you had just like a, like a L'Oreal single from the drugstore, that would do the trick. And I just want to like, it's kind of like contour for your eyes. So just apply it a little in the outer corner and then just blend along. So you could totally leave it there if you just want something matte. But for me, I like a little sparkle if I'm going out. Honestly, I always like sparkle, but specifically if I'm doing something, you know, out on the town. So these are the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. They're really nice. It's kind of like a glitter in a cream eyeshadow. So it just comes like this. And they're wet, like... It is cream and it just comes on a doe foot applicator, so you don't even need a brush. There we go, so you don't even need a brush. Um, and then really all I do is I just put it on my lid like that and then just smear it out with a finger. And if you're looking for um, a more affordable alternative, they have at like Shoppers Drug Mart, maybe Walmart, for sure Shoppers Drug Mart, they have, um, it's a brand called Pixie and they sell like Pixie, it's basically the same thing. It looks pretty much just like this, and it's a little cheaper if you wanted a more affordable alternative. Okay, so that's all I did to the eyes. I just put that all over the lid, blended it out with my finger. And that's all I'm really gonna do. If you wanted to skip the dark brown eyeshadow altogether, these, I think they're pretty new, just from Wet n Wild. It's like a little, it was $2. They're just glitters, but they're in like a cream. The only thing I'll say about these is um, if you put them on top of other shadows, it creases your shadows like crazy, like it looks insane. But if you were gonna skip that dark brown shadow and you just wanted a little sparkle, these would be a good option. Um, it's only $2 and they're fine on their own, just I wouldn't put them on top of any other shadows. Done the eyes, the, I would say this is probably the biggest tip I can give you, the biggest transformation from your everyday makeup to going out makeup is a bold lip. So if you have, if you didn't do any of the other steps, you didn't do the glitter, you didn't do the face makeup, anything like that, if you have bold lashes and a bold lip, like you're set, that's all you need. Maybe a red matte lip, that's perfect. That's all you need, you look great. Okay, so I just put the lip on. This is a matte liquid lip. It's the Huda Beauty, it's called Trophy Wife. <laughs> um, so mainly for the lip, I would think about what you're gonna be doing for the night. Like if you're gonna be sitting around, just having drinks, sipping from a straw, I would go for a bold matte lip. But if you're gonna be going for dinner, like you're gonna be eating, you're gonna be having like some oily soup or something, like this is gonna look like hot mess real quick and you're not gonna wanna deal with that on your night out. So then I would just go for a cute like glitter, glitter gloss, I would say. And then if it comes off, it's not that noticeable and you can just quickly reapply it without a mirror and it's not a big deal. The other thing I forgot to mention is if you're doing your face makeup and you know how I mentioned like getting a face palette, it comes with a big mirror so that'll make all of this process so much easier and you won't have to use like a little tiny car mirror or the mirror on like your little eyeshadow palette or something so then it's just even better okay so you could totally stop at this point and just be done like i think this is like pretty good like you're set to go you're good for a night out you're all set but if you want to take it just a little bit further you could do false lashes and for me, I would never do that if I'm like in the office or in my car or something because I struggle with false lashes a lot, like a lot. But if I'm like coming home and I have a few minutes between classes or something, or I'm just like coming home, getting dressed, changed, and then going out, then I would do it because if I'm like in the comfort of my own home, can sit in front of a mirror and like focus on it, then yeah, I can do false lashes, but in my cart, no, forget it, I can't. Okay, so all I did off of camera was I applied these lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. 
Um, you can get them at like Walmart. I'm not sure where else I got them. mine at Walmart. Um, it was like five pairs for fifteen dollars. Can't really go wrong. Okay, so this is how I transform my makeup with just a few products. Um, if you didn't even want to use like anything on your eyes, I would just take your face palette, just rub your finger in the highlight, and just like pat that on the lid a bit, and then you have a bit of sparkle in your eyes. That's all you need. Um, yeah, so a bold lip really transforms it. The lashes, obviously, they take it just to the next level, but you can totally do it without. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you learned something. I hope this was helpful. Um, I think this is a great look if you want to go out for drinks with your girlfriends or it's date night or something and you don't have time or you don't even, you just don't want to start from scratch. So some few tips just to elevate your look. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. How could I forget the most extra part? Also, this is faux. It is very fake. It was like $40, so. It's also like, it's extra guys. It's extra.